I live on this lake, but our beach area has gotten totally overrun by weeds. Me and my boyfriend are going to try and clean it up so we can hang out here. I started by trying to use a rake and it wasn't really working. Turns out I just had the wrong rake though because my boyfriend found this one and it worked a lot better. Like that actually removed a lot of weeds. There were still some that we needed to pull out by hand though. The long ones were the most satisfying to pull out and so were the ones with really long roots like this guy. He was really aggressively stuck in there. Eventually we filled up a whole bag of roots and I got a blister on my finger. So then I took a break and let my boyfriend finish this little area. He set up some of the rocks and raked the sand and it looked like this. There's still a lot to do, so stay tuned for part two. All right, day two of cleaning up the beach. Today we had to open up the umbrella because it's extremely hot, but the shade did not even end up reaching where we need. Also, I have gloves today, so hopefully no blisters. My boyfriend started by lining up some more of these bricks, and yes, we do know his haircut is bad. It's from the quarantine haircut I gave him. Just go watch the video if you want. But anyways, so we kept pulling out all these weeds and filling up our bag, which was getting pretty full at this point. Then my boyfriend was raking the sand some more when out of nowhere, our umbrella totally collapsed. Turns out there were lizard eggs in there and some of them fell, but we were able to save three. I made him this little house. It said to keep it moist online, so I filled it up with water. I don't know if they're gonna survive, but we'll keep you guys updated. So follow if you wanna see more videos about the beach and these eggs. Day three of cleaning up the beach. Here's the progress we have so far, and today we're gonna to be working on this back corner. It's one of the dirtiest. We started by raking up the leaves and pulling weeds, then we actually found this really cute palm tree that we're gonna replant. And more raking, more weed pulling. Then my boyfriend set up these bricks, and we filled almost another whole bag of weeds. Here's me working, since you guys think I don't do any work. And I had to pull out this stick with pliers because it was so deep in the ground. Then I had a Zoom class, so I took a break, but Nick kept working and raking up all this area to loosen it so I could come back and pull out all these weeds. Then while I was doing that, I actually found another lizard egg. We must have missed it yesterday. So I ran and put him with his friends. This is what the beach looks like now. We only have one corner left to go, guys. It's definitely a huge improvement from where we started, and you guys have really liked the series. We've gained a lot of followers, so I'm going to try and make a YouTube video answering some of your questions. Ask away in the comments and subscribe. Alright guys, it is day four of cleaning up the beach. This is the last corner we have to do. We started by trying to rake the sand because it was extremely compact over here, and it made it way harder to pull out the roots than in any of the other areas. It totally sucked. This is what they look like, so you can see they're pretty big and pretty deep. And then we figured out it was easier to just shovel them, but it still was taking a long time. So we moved over to an easier area that we had to finish anyway for a little break. And it got so windy that our table blew over. Luckily, no lizard eggs came out this time. But eventually we did have to move back to the really hard area and finish it up. It was taking forever. It was definitely the most difficult day, but a little turtle came to visit us and make our day better. Then we raked up the sand and this is what it looks like. We are almost done. We just have a few more finishing touches to do and then we can decorate. Day five of cleaning up the beach. Today we went to Home Depot to pick up 10 bags of sand. We started pouring them all over the beach, but we pretty quickly realized that 10 bags of sand wasn't quite enough. So we went back to Home Depot and recruited the help of Nick's brother to pick up 40 bags of sand. Now I think we have enough. So they started pouring the sand on and lining up the last few bricks that needed to be put in place. And we dug up the last of the weeds that were down in the front. Oh, and then a little iguana came to visit us, but he ran away pretty quickly. He did not like us. Then we poured on the last couple bags of sand, raked it all out. And now this is what it looks like. We are almost done. We just need to decorate in the next video. So as you all know, our beach was completely overrun with weeds and we've been trying to clean it up. You guys have seen us do so much raking, so much weed pulling, so much brick laying, and a ton of sand pouring. But now the beach looks like this and we are ready to decorate. We started by washing off all of our beach chairs, getting some new lights, setting up the chairs, adding a fire pit, cutting off some dead tree branches. Then we hung up our lights and here is what the beach looks like now, finally complete. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series and like how it all turned out.